Now Chiefs wide receiver Justin Ross is out of jail. He was arrested for domestic violence yesterday. Our team was there as he walked out of the Johnson County Courthouse in Olathe about two hours ago. Now his booking photo was just released. Police call this a case of domestic violence. KMC 9's Andy Alcock is outside the courthouse in Olathe to explain what happened. Ross appeared by video in court from the jail before his release. Dispatch audio KMBC has obtained explains what happened Monday afternoon. Justin Ross is dragging her through the house and has torn up the house. He keeps coming in and out of the house and he does have a firearm inside of the residence. That information came from Ross's now ex-girlfriend who appeared in person in court. He also broke her cell phone. She's currently calling from a neighbor's. Phone. Ross is charged with domestic battery and criminal damage to property of less than $1,000, both misdemeanors. Kansas City, Kansas Attorney James Spees, who's not involved in the case, says because it's a first offense for Ross, he's likely not going to get additional jail time. But the NFL's personal conduct policy states Ross could face a minimum of a six-game suspension without pay. Spees believes the wide receiver has put his NFL career in serious jeopardy. I could easily see the Chiefs just deciding to to go their separate ways with Mr. Ross simply because of his production on the field combined with now this allegation of domestic violence. Court records list Ross's grandmother as a witness in the case and dispatch audio states she was in her grandson's home when his ex-girlfriend called 911. We tried to speak with Ross's attorney, Ryan Janai, after he left court. We have no comment right now, guys. While Ross has been released from jail on a $2,500 bond, the judge ordered him not to go home until 7 o'clock tonight so his now ex-girlfriend can gather her belongings there. At the Johnson County Courthouse in Olathe, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. And we reached out to two local domestic violence shelters. Both say anyone who finds themselves in this position should reach out for help. Now, here is a number for the national hotline. They can contact you at local resources or just to start a conversation.